Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Um, I've started building the unloading area in the train network for the science production zone, whatever you want to call it. Um, so here's what I've got here. Each of the, as you remember, I've got two, I have two sets of rails coming into this area. One of them has uh, circuits. Whoa. All right, turn off that pesky pollution. Uh, so this set on the top has circuits and copper, and then the set of rails on the bottom has iron, steel, and the refinery products. Okay, so what I did, uh, and we'll see if this is a good design or not, I'm not completely sure at this point, but what I did is I had each of those two sets go into a stacker, well, not really a stacker, more of a more of an intake area. In fact, I might need to add stackers on top of this, but we'll see. So I've got an intake area where the trains will come and they'll stop here. And then they're going to wait for a signal based on the inventory, whether to proceed to unload or not. Right. And then they'll go to one of these. I've got four unloading stations. Right, and I'm just calling these science unload. They all have the same name. They'll go to one of the four unloading stations where the contents will go into active providers. Um, I threw in some robo ports, and uh, that's as far as I've gotten. Okay, so what we will be doing is using a constant combinator to set our target inventory levels for each commodity that we're bringing in here. Uh, so iron, copper, steel, all the circuits, and so on and so forth will have to be identified here. Um, and it also just occurred to me that I'm going to have lubricant and acid, which are using tanks. I think I might need more coal over here. Okay, so this is not going to work for fluids, obviously, unless I put them in barrels, which I'm not keen on. Uh, so maybe for the fluids, maybe for the fluids, I'll just add some extra stations on the end that'll go into tanks and then I can pipe it up. That's probably what I'll do for the fluids. Um, but for now, this is, this is the setup. All right, so let's start with iron, for example. All right, so I'll put in iron, and let's say I want, let's say I want two trains full of iron as my target inventory level. All right, so one train holds, what is it, 100 for 16,000, I think? Whoops. Yeah, one train holds 16,000 plates. So let's say I want iron, my target inventory to be 32,000. So I'm going to put minus 32,000. Okay. And then I have a wire connected to that from the RoboPort, which is reading the network contents. Those are going to add together. And if I look at the output signal, it's minus 32,000. Okay, so that means that I'm below, my actual inventory is below my target level. That means I would want the train to proceed through to the station. Okay, so if I set a station here that is, let's call this, um, what do we want to call this? Let's call this science iron. Okay, and then down here I will put a, actually I don't think I even need a, a combinator. Um, 
what I do need to do is get a, a signal wire over there. Okay, so let's, that won't reach, that won't reach either. Okay. Let me move it slightly. All right, now it should reach. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. All right, let's try this. Okay, now it reaches. I don't like this. Okay, and then it comes down here, and then over there. Okay, and then we can hook that wire up to each one of these stations. And I've left myself room to add additional stations if I need to. So for example, I might want, I might want several stations for iron plates. Okay. So then we'll set mode of operation, enable, disable when iron plate is less than Hmm. Okay. So two trains worth is my target level. So anytime there's less than two trains worth in inventory, it's going to send the train in. Which means that normally I'm going to have three trains worth in the inventory because if I have just, just under two and then I put in another train, I'm going to have close to three trains full. I suppose that's okay. Okay, so if iron plate is less than zero, that means I'm below, my actual inventory is below my target level and it'll send in another train. Uh, no, no, actually that's not what I wanna do. I want, I want the train to have the signal. I don't want to, I don't want to disable this station. This station needs to be enabled all the time. So it's got to be part of the train schedule. Okay. So let's find one of our iron trains and let's change the schedule. Actually, I should just add another iron train. Let me do that. I'll just run down there. I need to pick up some train parts. So let's get some locos and cargo wagons. 20 would be what five yeah let's do 20 and 10 so we'll set this up for iron just so we can see how it works okay thank you very much And I set the train up to loop uh, rather than having two way stations, you know, where they go in and out in the opposite direction, just because I think the traffic will flow faster this way. So that's why I have, that's why I have the exits looping out and around the outside. Um, and again, this, I mean, this loop could even, exp could even be moved quite a bit and we could we could have, we could add more unloading stations. We could add more lanes for incoming trains and so on. Okay. So let's put in one, two, three, four. All right. So that's one iron train. I'm going to copy it to get the color that I want. 
All right, so we're going to go to iron plates until we get full or time has passed. And then we're going to go to science iron. And we're going to wait until circuit condition. And the circuit condition is going to be iron plate less than zero. So that's what we're going to wait for. We're going to wait to get that signal through the station. And then we'll go to science unload until empty. And I'm also going to add an inactivity just in case. Because on the unload stations, I want the trains to get in there and get out of there to make room for more trains to come through. So um, if for any reason, well, why would there be inactivity? Because the chests get full. If the chests get full, then it doesn't matter if another train comes in anyway. So, yeah, so we'll just have it go there until it's empty. All right. So that's how it's going to work. All right, I've got a little bit of fuel here. Okay, so if I put this on automatic now, the train goes, right, because there's nothing in here. And then it'll go here, and it should immediately go to pick up some plates. No path. That's not good. <laughs> uh, that's because I have this on the wrong side. Okay. Let's try that again. The iron has to come in over here. So let me copy this. Um, and then I'll just put in another train and then I can copy paste and then I'll pick that one up. Okay, this one should work. some fuel. Okay, so let's send this one now to iron. It immediately moves because it's got the right signal condition, which is negative on iron. It'll go up there to unload. It's already empty, and then it should go back to the um, to fill up on plates, and then it'll be back here in a minute or two. Um, I should add I should add more signals here. One, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, and one. I'll just add, I'll add a signal for every train length. One, one, two, three, four, there we go. There. And at this point, I can I could copy paste, so I don't have to keep measuring it. There. Okay. Let's see where our train is. Is that the one? Could be. Or it might be this one. Yeah, I think that was, no, that wasn't the one. Is it already on its way back? Here it comes. Okay, I don't have any bots here yet, and I don't have any storage, so this stuff is not going to go anywhere. And to be honest, when it's in the active providers, I don't know if it's going to appear in the inventory. Yes, it does. Okay, good. 
What the heck? Boy, I screwed that up, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Okay, I was a little tired when I made this. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to leave it like this. Although if I moved everything down, it would make the path a little bit shorter. I think I should probably do that. so I don't get more iron in here. Um, let me go grab some bots and I'll set up a few storage chests and then we'll, we'll shift everything down. All right, I'll grab as many bots as I can carry. stack. Okay, so the train's waiting over there now. Alright, there are some bots for you. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's move. I'll put some storage chests up here. Just a temporary location to get the to get that plate out of here. So as you can see, we're going to need a lot of bots. Because even just to empty one train load, it took these 650 bots a not insignificant amount of time to get that done. They ne it needs to go faster than that. So that's why I was saying earlier that we're going to need we're going to need thousands and thousands of bots here. Okay, so I'm going to remove... I'll move that there. that there. Okay, and then I'm just going to control X. Select that. some of this stuff in a chest. I can see I missed a signal.
Okay. So let's rebuild this so I can get the right length here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So that's where the stations need to go. Like that. to reconnect. The signal. Okay. should be working. Um, hmm, that was odd. Science unload. Empty. Huh. All right, I guess it was... I guess it was set to go back to iron plates for some reason. Maybe because I picked up these stations, they disappeared momentarily. And then it chose different stations. Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do over here is place some more roboports. Because we're going to need lots of charging. Alright, so let's do that. I wonder if I should even place more. Yep, yeah, let's do some more. I don't think we can have, it'll be hard to have too many. some more roboports and bots. Um, I'll dump some of this extra stuff that I'm carrying just so I can carry more. And I'm going to have to move that iron. Okay. Uh, 
stop. I don't want it to unload yet because honestly, I've got, I've got storage here already. I just have to move it, you know? All right. So then what we can do, let me get some storage chests. Oh, I didn't bring very many with me, but the idea then is to have all of our storage off to the sides. Let me put some over on the other side. And we're going to need a lot of these storage chests. I'd rather have the iron over here on this side since that's uh, closer to where it's going to be coming in. I could put buffer chests. Okay, so now we can see that the signal, there is no signal for iron, right? So if I back this up, or the iron is equal to zero at this point. Um, so this is actually going to allow this third train to pass through. Because it's not less than zero, it's equal to zero. Oh, okay, no, it's not gonna let it pass through. All right, so it'll pass through if I take if I take one stack of iron out, then the train should go through. Let's let's demonstrate that. Or let's say I put more iron in, then I can see that the signal's 380, so the train is just going to wait there. 380, and if I take one more, the train comes in to unload. And then I get more iron added to the system. And hopefully it'll start putting it over there. Yeah, there we go. And it still wants to use chess over there too. It's weird how it does these things. Okay, so that's with a thousand bots. Still lots of bots charging. It's... Uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge to optimize this, I think. Uh, power consumption looks good so far. Okay, so that's just the iron portion of it. Um, so I need to get more storage chests put over here. I think I'll probably want like maybe like three rows, three columns of chests on each side. Um, so that we have lots of storage. Uh, and then we'll start to set up these stations for the for the other items. Um, and then I'll need to calculate. I think I'll have to use the calculator to try to determine how many trains of each commodity I'm going to need. You know, some of the things like the circuits, I can probably get by with one train of each. Um, plates, I might need, you know, multiple trains queued up here. Um, and if that's the case, then we'll just have multiple stations bringing in the same commodity. But uh, we'll see how that works. So I'll work on building up the rest of the storage area here. And then in the next episode, we'll, uh, we'll start to make some production. All right. Until then, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.